Here's a cool little super macro lens that Zhangyi Optics was kind enough to send me to review back in 2017 and I'm just now getting around to reviewing. It's a small and completely manual 20mm 4 to 4.5x macro lens and it even has three aperture blades creating what I think is pretty cool uh, triangular bokeh. It also has a smooth declaked aperture from an f-stop of 2 all the way to 16. With such a limited magnification range, I usually just leave the lens at 4x. The front element is very small and somewhat recessed. Again, this is a really compact lens, roughly half the weight of the already small Laowa 2.5 to 5x. So, how close can you get with it? Roughly about 5.5 millimeters horizontally on APS-C. The working distance is really tight at only about 20 millimeters or so. And here's the shot of the quarter I just took. It's a nice, clean, stable image, despite the dust on my sensor, with very little chromatic aberration or much vignetting. To compare image sharpness at different apertures, I'm going to zoom in on the engraved eye of Hideo Noguchi on this 1,000 yen banknote. Nearly wide open at f2.8, the depth of field is incredibly shallow, but the image is really sharp. It's inherent at this magnification that you're going to suffer from great light loss and image softness once you start increasing the aperture. By the time you hit f16, which is an effective aperture of like f80, the image is so soft it's almost unusable. And this softness is not a fault with the lens, it's just how diffraction is at these higher magnifications. Um, compared to the Laowa 25mm at the same magnification, uh, diffraction issues are just about the same. To remedy the inescapable softness of diffraction, let's go outside to talk about focus stacking. Okay, I've got the Mitocon on the Pentax K3 right now, and there's a Cicadella that's pretty cooperative, so I'm going to try to uh, pan focus. For a successful stack, your subject can't really move at all, so it's fortunate that this Cicadellid is proboscis in, actively feeding and not going to go anywhere for a while. So now that we have a cooperative subject, how do we ensure that our perspective doesn't change and that our lighting stays the same throughout our stack? So for stability, my arms are resting on my knees. Um, my hands are supporting the camera. My left hand is directly supporting the lens, and that left hand is holding onto the leaf with the bug. All of these elements are connected. Nothing is swaying around in the wind or getting shaky from supporting the weight of the camera. And my diffuse flash uh, ensures consistent lighting. Uh, focusing is done by simply squeezing the leaf closer or further away from the lens. Now this technique is kind of only suitable for small stacks. So here's the first shot in my series, the second, the third, and the fourth. And here are all the images stacked together. You might have noticed the images weren't perfectly aligned, but as long as they're close enough, uh, they can be aligned in post. Of course, if I open up the aperture to 2.8 or 4 and stacked even more shots together, um, these images would be sharper, but it's not always feasible in the field to do this. It's difficult enough focus stacking in this way. And this advice about handheld focus stacking is not solely applicable to this lens. Um, this lens is just well suited for it, for me at least, because of the tight working distance. But this preference for a short working distance is really just centered around my technique. Um, focus stacking the field can be done at any working distance or any focal length, so you can probably figure out a method that works for you in your own equipment. There's a lot more I could say about this, but I'll let the images play for a little bit and then I'll come back at the end of the video and explain my final impressions about the lens.
So overall, I do like the lens. Um, despite having a tight working distance and a manual aperture, it's sharp, it's lightweight, and it's really cheap. Finally, I'd like to thank Zhang Yi Optics again for sending the lens for review. Learn more at their website, zyoptics.net.